Sylvester Stallone, the latest overnight sensation in Hollywood who spent a lifetime to try to get that title. That's almost always true, isn't it? Oh, yeah. There are no such a thing. There really aren't. Uh, unless it's just total fluke. But I spent, I didn't spend uh, six, seven years, which I, I think they were well spent in the fact that I, I got to see what it's like not to be too successful and uh, how it's uh, taught me that I don't want to go back to that particular mode of living anymore. You know, but that success also brings vulnerability with it. I heard you say something this morning to a group of press people. Said, I'm not special, I'm just lucky. Yes. Now, I passed it on uh, to a, a press friend of mine who says, that sounds calculated to me. He, he wants you to like him. I said, I like him for that. And he says, he wants you to like him. That's a calculated answer. Isn't it crazy how cynical many people become, especially people in our business? Yeah, I don't know why. I wish they would take things at face value. When I say that I am lucky, it is lucky. Don't just think it's a freak accident. That everything happened. That film just happened to come out. It's one thing to get the film done, to have it turn out well, have it turn out critically acclaimed, have it turn out financially successful. And now I think it's a it's it's a total miracle. And I am lucky. And it's a, it's a matter of timing and luck. And if he wants to hate me for it, well, <laughs> go. maybe that maybe it's the good luck he kind of envies. Yeah. Uh, in your fondest dreams. What was it you had hoped for? This kind of success, or were there other things more important? Um, I never thought that this type of success would ever be bestowed on such a small movie because it, it's what is like with Kong coming out and Star is born, and there that was where all the press was heading. Uh, the expectation, I, I just think that uh, I am so overwhelmed by it that I think it's going to become a trendy thing where uh, the small movies about the family units are coming back into uh, to vote. One of the things that's being said now, and I, I guess it's to be expected because you are just so absolutely right for this part, and obviously you tailored it for you too, yeah. is that uh, is Sylvester Stallone going to be a, a one-picture actor or a one-theme actor because this one is just so right? God, I hope so. One picture? <laughs> <laughs> just retire, you know, one shot, one there, right? And, uh, hope you can be. Become a mystery forever. No, I, I think that I am not with an Alec Guinness. I don't make, I am not a Lawrence Olivier. I don't make any pretenses to that. I think that I can interpret the common man very well. I think I can interpret the uh, frustrations of uh, what I call the Earth Man. And there are maybe 15 good roles in me. After that, I will get, begin to repeat myself and become a bore. When I begin to bore myself, I'll just yank out and go behind the camera and stay there. If you want to see an amazing video of a young Arnold Schwarzenegger, check out the video right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe, and I'll see you there. The bodybuilder of bodybuilders, Arnold Schwarzenegger, six foot two and 220 pounds of solid Austro-Hungarian muscle. 